I V M. Two books that changed my life as a young boy. One was Tarla Dalal's Vegetarian Cuisine, which after three pages I got very upset and worried. And then, of course, this one: the subtle art of not giving a well. I can't say this word, but it rhymes with duck, luck, muck, tuck, and it begins with ph. No, that's for you. But the point of all that is, sounds a little vulgar and strange, but it's a lovely book. And once you get over that, if you're a little conservative, it just basically tells you how to believe in yourself more and not get taken in by everything around you. You know, it's fantastic for people with low self-esteem and for people who think their confidence is never going to go up. Read this book. His name is Mark Manson. He's fabulous. He's my favorite human being. I don't know if he has a beard or a mustache, or like Virat Kohli, or if he's clean-shaven, but he's a lovely guy. Uh, Mark, if you're listening, I love you. So keep in mind that if you go through storytell.com slash IVM, you get a 30-day free trial as against a 14-day free trial on the link. All right? It's very simple. All you got to do is log on to storytell.com slash IVM. Millions and millions and millions of stories, many written by me. All that and more. Find it all on Storytel. The language used on the podcast may not be fit for consumption. We warn you, Tread carefully. But listen, yaar. Don't be so conservative. You're listening to Cyrus Says. What if you're Gujarati? The most powerful presence in India. And also the most powerful presence on TV. Your name is? Not the Prime Minister. It's Eva Bhatt. And she's here to talk to us about her life, her struggle, and the fact that she is the most powerful person in the business. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows. Okay, before we start our main show, I have to discuss something with you. South Mumbai Police, my favorite police force, uh, who do such great work in not power-powering VIPs, but helping, you know, poor people, old people, children, animals. Uh, well, at 6.05 at Marine Drive, they have this lovely Naka Bandi, which gives me great pleasure to be stopped in the morning and, you know, all that. But I find something very odd. When the rain, when the barish is very hard, they tend to still have the barricades, but they've disappeared. So my request is that when it's pouring heavily, can you please stop us and check properly for, you know, ID and all that. Especially uh, young boys going to play cricket, or people going to the gym, or fathers dropping their kids. All the people who are possibly the worst criminals of India. So I want that consistency in being checked. That's all I have to say. In the pouring rain, please come out and do your job. It's called Cyrus Says. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm DJ, one of the presenters of the Edges and Sledges Cricket Podcast. I'm based in London and host the podcast along with my friend from school, Varun, who's based in Singapore, and his brother Ashwin, who's based in the US. We've all been massive fans of Indian cricket all our lives, and despite living in three different time zones and having pretty busy professional lives, we decided to start our own cricket podcast in March 2018. After putting out 59 episodes on our own, we were delighted to join IVM in May 2019, becoming the first pre-existing podcast to be picked up by India's largest podcast network. We've chatted with some awesome people, had some fantastic cricketing conversations along the way. But the main reason we do this every week is to have fun discussing the same cricket topics and issues that you guys are talking about every day in your living rooms. We're fans, not experts, so expect us to be honest. We really hope you decide to join us every week on the podcast. Okay, we have a guest who's actually part of our studio now, in a sense. And I'm Eva Bhatt, of course. Uh, you are heading, let me read the exact uh, title, because uh, you're Vice President for Life of India's Largest <laughs> Music Network, um, 9X. Now, two things to begin with. The, in the bio data, the first line says, Eva Bhatt, I'm a Gujarati. <laughs> No, why is it required? Who has written this? Why would, you, why would why do we have to say this? What is I mean? This is required. And, or is of it, course, is like, it, is you it know, the sa- first essential thing is that I'm a Guju. I'm a proud Gujarati. Fair enough, and it's a safe time to be Gujarati. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then the next line is also interesting. I head Bollywood shows at Nine XM, which is India's largest music network. Of what course. happened to MTV? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is an iconic moment in the history of music. So a- MTV. And 9XM together. Who, who's bigger? <laughs> For us, obviously, we are the Achha, so Are, are these those surveys that the, we all do in-house to say my podcast is number one and all that? <laughs> you pay three guys 25 rupees, oh give them chai. You know? To tell me honestly, is, is 9X 
it's bigger? largest what does that mean largest meaning we have uh, like a punjabi music channel a marathi music channel uh, all are leading in their space um, uh, so a retro music a retro music channel and um, we also have a digital portal and, and we only have an international a... music huh. but we are not comparing here no no mtv with... only has a roadie music channel so it's totally different <laughs> i understand what you're saying completely so you're saying you're the only global indian structure Yeah I mean we are the India's also right now like I think just last week as per the bark whatever numbers no, no, the, we are because the our people write into us what is bark ba- <laughs> like woof, woof, what's bark B A R C oh god yes okay so british airways <laughs> runway construction what what is be a bark oh, eva they'll think i'm lying <laughs> I want to fight for 9x. 9x is the number one channel of India. Yes, huh. yes, and Cyrus huh. says meaning yes. Can you, that's, that's the show. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I was just saying huh. Amit. I was just telling him huh. Amit uh, from IVM that yeah. uh, who told you to bring me to this show because it's like putting me into the lion's den. No, 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 it's no. It's like I am Listen, right you, now so nervous. You're, you're perfect for our show because see, you're a corporate person also, you're a creative person also, and uh, you're also doing your own podcast now. Yes, yes. So that, please yes. understand that we only take the top people on our show, and you're very much one of those. Okay, <laughs> I have you. I have rejected uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Amitabh Bachchan. I've said no to them. I've I'm, said, I'm not so yet. sure. Not yet. When you do theater again, then I'll take you. This I don't is, just take mainstream Bollywood. And all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. This is only like uh, a repeat telecast of uh, his show, Bakra. I think so. No, no. Please don't say that. That that show was such a. No, no. I want to say that I have budget. grown up watching you. I mean, that doesn't <laughs> say call, anything next call about me uncle. your age. <laughs> so obviously, I was. Poor in... thing. She felt bad while saying it only. No, no. I was no. grown up watching you because that's reverse compliment. No. So obviously, like you know, you have been the icon, 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 and it's just a very big deal for me. Like I'm going to walk out of this room and then in my office with. lots of air you know swelling with pride i have been on the cyrus show oh my it's God. like a very big now you be, you been so nice me. now I, i can't be mean at all after this so now we'll have to have one of those singi garewal shows no 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 you have already me eva <laughs> how was it like working with apar shakti <laughs> apar shakti apar shakti is nice. apar shakti <laughs> The Shakti on the upper ka floor. Oh my God! <laughs> Now that will come to later. Let's get back to the beginning, which is all about you. So you had Bollywood shows at Inex, and you launched a creatively long format shows on the channel. What does that mean? <laughs> so. Um... Right now, currently, uh, there is a show uh, with Master Chef Shipra Khanna. Oh, uh, she is uh, chatting up with Bollywood celebrities. Should it be Mr. Chef? And... I mean, technically, master to ladka ka hoga, and, and, and then it should be mistress because it'll be confusing. <laughs> because master chef is a lady, then how is a uh, lady a master? Yeah, that's a good one. I don't want trouble. Can you tell me what the real title is? <laughs> no, no, it it is, is master. Chef, is chef male? So then female should be chefy. Chefy. So it should be mistress chefy. I mean, we should get all this correct. I don't want any yeah, problem. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Huh. So I think I'll, I'll just stick to Shipra Khanna, oh, Shipra. who is a chef. Yes, no, Shipra. <laughs> So what show is that? <laughs> so uh, I just I think a few months back we launched that show. Uh, it's a Bollywood meets uh, food. So they just talk about food, and we have a food truck. So it's right now currently on air on the channel. So I'm so they do food actors and uh, with the truck. Uh, yeah, with the and truck. And they get free food as usual. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We serve them like really cool food. Do so they ask for their parents and friends and all also? <laughs> एक दो डॉगी पैक वो सब ऑल दैट यू नो आई मीन यू एक्सपेक्ट दैट यार एब्सोल्युटली सबको खिला दो 400 people on the unit yeah absolutely so who are the actors you've done the show uh, we started off with sharukh at mannat we were parked there at mannat you got parking um, Wow. Absolutely inside Manat. Imagine inside Manat. Inside Manat. <laughs> and he and he still was late. <laughs> <laughs> inside Manat, and that was the very same evening. Isha Ambani was getting married. Oh so I, I have to tell you that uh, you know our roll time was around uh, nine uh, p.m. in the night, and all of a sudden, like you know, the manager, the team, uh, Shahrukh's team, they, they just informed us that hey guys, you know, Shahrukh is right now heading to the Ambani's uh, to attend the wedding, so he'll be back uh, right at. Uh, 2:40 uh, a.m. 2:40. Are you 2, joking? No, 2:40 a.m. or 2:30 a.m. and he'll do the show first with you. And we you are like, we have all for the time. For the 10 pleasure. minutes, they are making a lot of fafa. Yeah. 2:30 or 2:40? Not 2:30, sure. Yeah. Oh, what about the fact from nine? You'll be waiting there. And for the first time, the entire unit is extremely 
happy about this uh, listening to this uh, piece of news is because we have we are getting to stay inside mannat for that much time so, so we what do you like, do ha ha so we were just lazing around we were peeping into uh, <laughs> aryan's room and we were actually in the mannat very bad <laughs> <laughs> so we were actually there uh, at mannat and we all were extremely excited about the fact 230 actually the man comes on is, on time uh, in a, in on a sense time, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. on time and then he changes from his nice that black pathani that he wore hmm. in the wedding to a nice uh, jacket and something and and he was and fully know, awake are you fully awake yeah. you know yeah. you know sharukh so he's amongst the easiest people to interview no easiest he's all talks non stop he's funny he's warm he's warm he should give a class to other actors actually he's one of those guys you know he's really good to interview he's, because he makes you feel good He's damn good with people. He's no, a real no, people yeah, person. Yeah, and first thing he'll do, God bless, inshallah. I'm so sorry, Eva. Yeah. And I'm like melting. Uh, okay, mm. yeah, no problem. It's just two forty. I'm yeah, absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah, he's a yeah, he's a hugger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. and the prime minister both, <laughs> but only he's hugged me. Huh. Yeah. Oh. So so two thirty he came and did the full interview. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. food and all this. Yeah, discussion. yeah, food and he ate. He ate um, something, some roll that we had. Or whatever. Huh. There was some nice. Uh, he's an actor. He's all about roles. Only. Roommate. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely. So he had that, and we had lots of fun. So we have had such fun uh, things happening on the show. We had uh, Salman during Bharat promotions. So we were shooting at Taj. Huh. Lansen and usually oh, such you a know, long walk here. Huh. <laughs> so you know that Salman otherwise shoots at Mehboob. Correct. Uh, Mehboob is Bhai's uh, yeah. den for shoots. You also have to call him Bhai. Uh, I mean, Bhai is the <laughs> no no. We don't call. What do you call him, Sal? Would he get upset? I don't think he'll get upset. No, no, he cool. won't. I'm going to call him Sal. I don't like this bhai bhai. Yeah, you know, was he Makram the cricketer? I was calling him bhai at the show, and he said, "Why are you calling me bhai? Everybody doesn't like bhai." Yeah, I mean, this bhai is different from the Gujarati bhai. <laughs> That's different, but this bhai is exactly. No, no, no. So when you're you not saying enter, elder brother, you're saying bhai as in yeah, gangster. Absolutely. Huh. So when you enter Mehboob Studio, uh, the security gates will be like bhai ke shoot pe aana, bhai, bhai, bhai ke shoot pe. So they are in that thing. They are also in that See, mode. See, if the top security so. guy calls him Sal, that will be too much. Also, no. <laughs> Just because he wears a uniform and dabang doesn't mean everyone can identify with him like that, huh? <laughs> So yeah, so Salman. So what was, was he also, like? Yeah, so I'll tell you. So for the first time we were shooting with Salman. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you how. Um, if sushi is considered uh, vegetarian, so we were shooting at in Sait Taj for the first time because he he was there. Uh, so then he was extremely hungry. This was 10 p.m. in the night. He was extremely really hungry, and you know. So then he said that can I just eat my stuff like you, you I, 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 yeah 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 so I no no not ghar ka khana he had ordered like lots of sushi from Taj right. so who pays for this when the film actor orders your crew during or the, the film product, shoot the film you see? crew pays uh, no no during the shoots of our shows hmm. uh, they don't usually eat uh, huh. from our stuff but this is a food truck show so we serve them food what's the bill that's from the truck but now he's ordered sushi from taj so who's oh, paying yeah, yeah. that that's his that's his or the music label or the movie production house that is lined up the i want to be an actor only for this yeah, that yeah, somebody I'm else sure. to pick up the bill <laughs> मूड में आ गया अभी खाना खिला दो अभी एंड देन समबडी सो फाइंड द मनी बट डू यू हैव टू पे हियर एट आईवीएम वी हैव टू टेक अ ब्रेक डॉक्टर को बुलाओ इट वाज अ वेरी पेनफुल कन्वर्सेशन ओके लेट्स गेट बैक बट सो हाउ वाज ही and so he ate his own food yeah so he no no he was gorging on the sushi and then he's doing full acting that uh, yeah 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 like you know i'm loving it and this and that so then he all. pretends to eat the food truck yeah, and yeah, he's already yeah, eating the sushi yeah, yeah, so again yeah. he's acting and that's <laughs> yeah. what he does beautiful you see how he brought it around uh, okay so yeah but nice yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. all these guys are fun you know tell me about one bad thing. experience somebody must have been bad yeah yeah batao batao everyone is not a bhai i think after this i'll have to actually apply uh, okay okay you and i will go over here to walk over here because otherwise at 9xm i am banned isme ek tarika hai just follow it you don't have to ever take names hmm. you just have to rhyme like if the name is supposing the name is akshay yeah i know it's not but if it is then you say pakshay no one will guess it yeah yeah absolutely no like, one will ever guess that's it that's a very old school thing you remember we <coughs> used to do when we used to yeah. so i uh, i was um, assisting on the show called the great indian comedy show we i know i read yeah. so we used to do so many spoofs at that point of time wherein spoofs and gags was still a new thing uh. Uh, and we used to literally do this akshay was paksha yeah. i mean nobody for safety guess. sake yeah. legal legal bol legal is funny funny yeah funny they also yeah. you you know no that connection. <laughs> no uh, connection samita bachan bolo theek hai we'll get away in court yeah, yeah. <laughs> So star oh. used to get those uh, you know messages and letters that please what is this ekta kapoor is fake kapoor How could you think that the judge will actually <laughs> say oh yaar isme koi correlation nahi hai you're right it's safe new character I, but tell me about the badly behaved actor 
प्लीज और एक्ट्रेस चाइल्ड आर्टिस्ट आई हेट चाइल्ड आर्टिस्ट टेल मी अबाउट दिम डेडी चाइल्ड आर्टिस्ट बट बैड एक्सपीरियंस आई रियली भी somebody. Anybody was rude on the show? Rude on uh-huh. the show, not this show because um, in Great Indian comedy. Great Indian comedy show is like years back, but it has so many stories. Like you know, we were Ek with. Ek to batao, kam se kam. Ek. Come on, we were with Ranveer Shori and Vinay Pathak and uh, Suresh Man. No, 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 no. There is no absolute no connection. Vinay and Suresh, I know very well, and yeah, they are yeah, not badly behaved from any angle. Except before the Me Too controversy, I would be a little careful. No, but then no, which no. girl will look at them? So what's the uh, worry? No, no, uh. absolutely. So I would say that I have had a great time working on the Great Indian Comedy Show. No badly behaved stuff. Damn it! I want a fake story then. Mm, no, no, no. From Bollywood only. We were just talking see, about see, see, Bollywood. See, see, see. Bolo, bolo, bolo. So uh, there is no bad experience. I can say is that. I think we have waited for hours and hours for uh, many people. I can't even uh, think of any. Mm. I have to think of. Something. Write the name I, down. I, I want to. No, write no, no. Write the I name down even, and tell us. I can't even right now think of any bad, bad, really bad experience. See the s- father's to... first cousin's name. No, no. I'm I'll not, trace it through Google. I'm not even thinking about uh, how to hide that name. Uh, I want to think of uh, a real. Uh, okay, luckily we only have forty minutes, so yeah. you, the question is Let's over. Let's just pass. Yeah, it's pass, and we move to the next thing. Don't know. worry. Don't take tension on this show. Show is so bad. I told you, don't worry ever. Yeah. Now you launch music, non-fiction. We've spoken. But why are you even taking? See, I told you now. It feels like I have entered one interview, one piece of interview, and Because you have actually. Because the uh, guests then tell us later. You don't ask me any questions. They get very angry and they beat up Abbas. Oh, I know. This I know. The small little producer I have here. Yes. You know. He's been violated by many guests before. I won't take names, uh, but uh, this Arman Amal Malik, uh, Guru Randava, and Jonita Gandhi. These Have things. do you know any of these people? He's coming um, to show. What uh, Arman of, is coming on show. What kind of music? Uh, Apar Shakti, I've done a couple of events with. Yes, I know. Shilpa Rao, I've met at a show. Uh, Great. Jonita and uh, Guru Randava, I don't think I've worked with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, do you uh, have listen to Bollywood music? See, I watch only adult erotic programs. Mm. I'll be very frank. <laughs> and whatever music is played in the background, that's my music now. And mostly yeah. it's uh, instrumental But music. What like, fun uh, if you'll have Bollywood music playing while? <laughs> yes, it's only a matter of time. The world is global. I agree with you. <laughs> India's presence must be felt. Oh my God. Okay. Now, before we go into your life, I want to talk about you growing up in Bhuj. You know, I find that story more fascinating. Coming to Mumbai, tell us all your personal stories. But before we go into that, I just quickly uh, talk about the fact that you say you yourself are a foodie, and you want to start a restaurant. You're just saying that, or you actually are going to start? So, if ever I get a chance, uh, and if I'm bored of my life in media, I would definitely do something related to food uh, because I love food and I cook food. Also, I cook really nice food. So, yeah, I think. But your your Gujarati and your married to a Maharashtrian IT fellow. Yeah, he's an IT guy. Huh. Yeah, he's into networking solutions and designing all that. How so, exciting! Uh, yeah, solutions architect is, oh, is his solutions designation, architect. and I'm like, what, what is mean? it? Like architect, we nahi hai. Uh, solutions is networking solutions, so it's totally this two is, different. It's a very Western concept. Now they give you these long titles so yeah. that nobody can understand, Absolutely. including the person. The person himself cannot ever explain in his life what he does. Absolutely, it's terrible. Why can't he just say IT? <laughs> Safer for all of us. You want to tell us a love story? My love story. Because uh, Gujarati, Marathi is a is a story on its own. Yeah, so we both were together in the same school uh, back in Gujarat. Uh, we were in the Mount Carmel school. Oh wait, then we have to go back to your beginning. So otherwise, it'll be all yeah. over the place, and my twenty-two listeners will not understand. <laughs> so uh, let's understand that you co- you come from Bhuj. Yeah, I'm from a small town called Bhuj in. Kutch, yeah, very short. Uh, that Amir Khan film. What's Amir Khan, Lagan. Lagan. Refugee. Yeah, you come to me, yar. Lagan refugee Hamdil de chuke Sanam and currently they, right now Ajay Devgan. They shot all this together. No, no. After yeah. some time they shot the other. Huh. So right now currently also I think Ajay Devgan and Sonakshi are shooting a film called titled Bhuj. For now, and right that they now. might change it. Why? Why would they change it? It'll be called Sial Cut or something after. Th- you don't know these people here. They change everything. It's a story about. No, uh, but let's hear your place, story. Your Bhuj. story. Your story. My story is like yeah I am um, I was in Bhuj I'm born in Bhuj uh, and um, my family was quite uh, like you know filmy my father was a hardcore uh, Raj Kapoor fan What are you saying uh, Not Raj Kapoor fan but he was a worshipper like we had a uh, life size portrait of Raj Kapoor in our 
uh, you know the main room of our house so bachpan se when we used to wake up in uh, on sundays we used to uh, watch movies like jagte raho and boot polish at that age we were like what is this going on and then you know after watching the movie there would be like long sessions of you know discussing the film Are and you know, dissecting so i have grown up in a family that uh, just Lives, film, film family. Yeah, film family, filmy family. We are leaning towards the Kapoor, <laughs> leaning towards the Kapoor family. Absolutely, and but nobody had any uh, connection with. Uh, but only Raj Kapoor films and Shami Kapoor films. So you also watch like say Firoz of, Khan, yeah, Dilip Kumar, the Guru, uh, the, and huh. all those films, obviously. But Guru, the, uh, huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So all that uh, knowledge came. The filminess came Kale from. Kaya Sagal films you watch? Some no. are very boring. No, I haven't. I haven't. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Take so, breaks. <laughs> and then you know we were growing up, and then college and all. Uh, I mean, in high school, we had Mr. Cyrus Brocha. I was the principal. Yeah, you were. I got this job in Bhuj. Mommy said, "Take it, permanent." No, no. So oh. that's what I'm saying. That you know, uh, my generation, like you know, we we were given so much. information about you know our indian cinema and legends and all that and at the same time <laughs> with bollywood had, interviews that i did <laughs> we had <laughs> the people like you oh. interviewing like you know in your own iconic i've interviewed the greats yeah yeah you have and we Dilip remember Kumar. we remember each and everything hmm. so uh, you know in, except for in, sanjay dat i've done govindas interview twice and i've come out almost unconscious <laughs> in one interview he told me aap uh, hindi mein aur main angrezi mein ab and that was just death it was death and in another interview he cried because i asked one question about uh, he was member of parliament at that point and i only asked one question about like uh, what's the experience like generic question ki aap to mantri hai abhi sir aap batao karte to not karte to kya sounds terrible but something like you know uh, how is experience he started crying and oh we were in a small God. trailer and you know my cameraman was laughing little bit and all that you know because it just sounded funny and i didn't i couldn't make eye contact because if eye contact ho jata then you know it'll go the wrong way and all that so because i don't want to get into a, but it was very funny i've had some experience but this is your yeah, interview yeah. so don't talk about me <laughs> no, no, let's no. get back to you yeah, yeah. Huh. so then i did my college uh, at uh, xavier's ahmedabad oh. i did english literature so those were fun days and after college i just wanted to come to mumbai Like what? every, This like me, every the, the, typical the, the, small town girl. All I wanted to do is just come to Mumbai, work in Bollywood, do what I don't know. But stand, I just stand outside uh, Pratiksha and Manat and no, all these no, places. No, 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 huh? no, not that. Why do people really? do that? Yeah. That the other day I went for a meeting <laughs> to Taj and outside the Manat. There were some four hundred people, and they're all just waiting. He wasn't even in the area. and they're just looking still at the gate just but he's coming from that side <laughs> yeah. and they're still looking at the gate i'm like what the hell just last week i was at near the joggers park no uh, i was just going through the carters road uh, area and literally uh, in front of galaxy people are just all the and, and when he's not there also yeah yeah, yeah. just Salman, the building so the, the white watchman tower salman bhai nahi hai theek <laughs> hai kabhi aayega pata nahi kal still they'll stand no no i feel that if if sharuk comes out of the gate and he stands next to that mannat thing written people will still pause ek minute ek minute na bhai just let let us <laughs> i think what they should do as a bakra na salman should come out of mannat huh? sharuk should come out of pratiksha amitabh should come out of galaxy you know if they should just screw up the mind of this ha ah, kya ho gaya maine kya dawai liya you know it is all it'll be more fun they should get together and do all this really sad man But people don't think enough oh, we will take a break i've just been informed and then we'll come back we have to talk about your life you yes. have reached amdabad you're in college in this literature major and when we come back we will discuss the growth of how you became the most powerful person in television thank you so much cyrus India's a massive subcontinent home to truly stunning diversity. Behind the veils of smoke that obscure our thriving cities, our history is still alive, glimmering like sequins waiting to be discovered. And if you, like me, are straining to hear the echoes of our past, this podcast is for you. I'm Anirudh Kanisetti, a history and geopolitics researcher, and I host Echoes of India. A history podcast about India by Indians and for Indians. In Echoes, we journey through the complex histories of South Asia and what they can teach us about our globalized world. Tune in every Wednesday on ivmpodcast.com or your favorite podcast app. Welcome back, Eva Bhatt. Are you related? This was the break. This was the break. I just took one. <laughs> Indian men are very fast, na Eva. You know that. I just. Huh. I mean, like Sasli. Huh. That was the break. It's enough. You have. What did you do in that break? 
What 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 had really I don't happened? do anything before the break also. <laughs> this was for the uh, sound engineer. This was this was for the editor. No, this is in case we get a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> plug करना पड़ेगा इसलिए. Yes. <laughs> so let's plug in something that we have to. No, not getting here. We're trying really hard. <laughs> really. We have to plug your show since we don't have a sponsor. Yes, please. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the what show. What is the name of the show? The I'll show. tell you in exactly one second. Yeah. I have the name right here. Your podcast is Nine XM Soundcast T. What is the E? Yes. And so I'm not saying it because we've written. Ask story. her about the E; she will explain it. I'm not saying because I just of that. want the mics to be huh, like. Huh. <laughs> and now, after one sass, also one sip. My God, we're spoiling the guests here. Go on. So why uh, sound casty? So it's very interesting. Uh, so when we uh, launched a show called Nine X E a few years ago, uh, so everybody was wondering what is this E. So our um, people, like you know, our CEO and everybody, they, we decided that this is E for entertainment. Then we launched something called Spot Lamp, Spot Lamp E, Spot Boy, Spot Boy E. Then Soundcast, Soundcast E. So now the in-house joke that I tell my people is that they love me so much E for E. So it's Eva. not what like so my. So it's all about me. But I thought it was like how my sister was when we were young. If she saw a cockroach, cockroach E. <laughs> it's not that, no. No, no. This is like nine minutes. Eva E. Soundcast E. Yeah. E okay, for two Eva. questions. The Eva Bhat. Now, are you a member of the Mahesh Bhat Mukesh? You are. No, no. I wish. <laughs> no. So no, are you, no, are you absolutely not? no connection. No relation. Uh, but now they'll be coming to you because yeah, you are yeah, the boss yeah, yeah, yeah. at 9X. All right, we were talking about Ahmedabad. You've reached Ahmedabad. Now in your journey, you want to come to Mumbai, you said. Like most so yeah, during my college days, we were like obviously watching. You don't have to keep saying your, that. Nobody no, will believe no, it. No, no, no. That is, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are hundreds Say of people. Say Sajid Khan. Sajid Khan was very popular. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so. Why did we take a break there? Awkward pause. No, <laughs> so he was. Huh. Yeah, yeah, obviously he huh. was, but uh, yeah. So in my hostel days, me and my roommate, we used to actually enact all the gags and all the stuff that we used to see this man doing on the channel. So we literature used to major. actually <laughs> that was our literature major happening, the filmy major happening. So that was the thing, and uh, yeah. Then I wanted to come to Mumbai, but then um, things were still. Not possible for me. I did my post graduation from Ek Baroda. Baat and Ek baat. You had mentioned that you fell in love in Ahmedabad with your. No, uh, we met only in Mumbai. We but were together said, in the same school. Which in, school? Uh, in uh, Buj. Kutch, yeah, Mount Carmel, Gandhi Dham is oh. also a town in. So then you Kutch. re-met him later. So we met. So when you were in school, there was no romance. No, not at all. Achha. We were not even friends. Okay. We met through Orkut. Huh? The Yo, what age are you? Yeah, that's what, what I'm are you like. saying. Hello, I'm you 19. Think, you grew up on me. <laughs> <laughs> These are all lies. Bakwas have exposed you. That one word has exposed you. Eva, but stand up. <laughs> ah. So you were an Orkut. Yeah. So, so that, the whole thing about both being from Buj that must have been the first part, right? Not, then you realize you're from yeah, the same school. Yeah, from the yeah so huh. same school, and they were like, hey, "Hi, even I was in Mount Carmel and this and that. Let's meet." So that is where I mean. At that time, what were you doing? I was assisting uh, Shashank Shah. Okay, the on director. the Great Indian Comedy Show. Uh, yeah, on the Great Indian Comedy Show. And he was, show. he was what? Uh, he was also working. In, he had started working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was okay. working, and okay. we were working. Sorry, so, sorry, I interrupt you. So you were in Ahmedabad then? You decided. Then my post graduation happened, and then I just wanted to finish it somehow, and then land in Mumbai. Hmm. Mumbai, I just happened to uh, via someone. I met uh, this guy called Shashan Shah. He was directing a lot of TV stuff. Uh, he was with Channel V also at a point of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shashan Shah, and then we did this uh, great Indian comedy show. When I joined, I was the sixth AD, uh, but within with no a few experience. months, with no experience, huh. and then within a few months, I was the chief AD, and then you I killed left. Five ADs. <laughs> you can what say happened that. to five ADs? You can say that. So I was. Uh, they lost five ADs. <laughs> no, no, they did not. But I was the chief AD. Is all but, I can really say. Really, what happened to the other five? Obviously, they were there. The but, chief AD is. But they the... were get out from number one, number two. No, so I was promoted because of my. But when you own... get promoted, somebody gets demoted, so they were thrown out. No, maybe they. They are left struggling for without their, uh, food no. for the last few <laughs> years because you became famous and successful. Wow. And those five people's family. Are I just don't want those people to listen to this because they'll be like, yes, yes, that's true. No, no. You may have destroyed some careers, but you didn't mean to. So no. I'll, I'll let it go. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. Huh. So great Indian comedy. Then you became the first city. So now you're actually running the show. Running the show, and I was with. Amazing people like Ranveer and uh, Suresh Who, Menon. Who's the nicest and, out of Ranveer, Suresh, uh, and Vinay? Nicest? 
the who's the best one? Who do you like the most? Um, Don't I want to ask you who's the best looking because I've seen what Suresh and Vinay look like without clothes also. Vinay, Vinay, yeah. I don't call him Vinay. It's Vinay sir for me. So Vinay sir, Vinay Pathak, yeah. I mean, I worked. I've, I call him fat so. No, no, no. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> of course you can, right? You Saris? can also. You. Stop giving all this fake respect. He's a nice guy. Yeah. So, so Vinay is your favorite. Vinay Pathak, Purbi Joshi. Ah, she's very talented. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, she's right now in LA, right? Yeah. What is she doing in LA? She got married and she's uh, given she up the business. Kid, I mean, she is acting over there, but yeah, sad, sad Act- thing for she is acti- doing some bit of no, no, she's then? doing some stuff in I don't know. I saw some posts, but like uh, what Priyanka she, Chopra is doing. Hmm. She's doing a lot of stuff. Okay, all right. Then? Hmm. So yeah, so yeah, so I was on that show for a long time, and then. Um, and then I did one show with uh, Sunil Grover, so he's also a huh. buddy. So I think I have worked this, with this is Kapil the, Sharma's best friend. The yeah, same, yeah, absolutely huh? right. Okay. So uh, I think so that's then you got where into the comedy world a lot. Mostly like. comedy, Bollywood, non-fiction. That was the space that I have worked with. And then Nine XM happened in my life like seven years ago. Now that 2011, hmm. I got a call from Nine XM, and then I met people over there and they were like you have to handle Bollywood so I'm like I have absolute no connection or contact with Bollywood people because I have worked on spoofs and gags and no, stand up comedy Vinay, and stuff Suresh, Ranveer yeah, and but Suresh Ranveer and acting yeah, Bollywood they were films. talking about your they were talking about superstars Shah Rukh Khans and Akshay so you don't think these are big all, enough no, 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 you have insulted these no, four no, right no, down they, my they, <laughs> no absolutely no they know exactly how much love oh. and respect I have for them no so when uh, Nanaksam wanted somebody to take care of the Bollywood uh, side of things uh, because Nanaksam primarily was only a music and uh, you know they had these animated characters I mean they, we still have those are animated not animated characters those are actresses <laughs> oh yeah Eva, what are you saying huh? <laughs> then uh, so but you jumped into that the, without yeah. any experience so again. I said that okay I don't have uh, any uh, contacts because they good. Th- this this thing required you know somebody having good contacts in the industry and you had none I had none, but today I have. So then, can you get them on our show? Yeah, yeah, of course. I have already told this. Now she said so, Abbas. I have now told she said this. so. She showed off. I have already told this. 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 Who are you closest to? I'm not. I'm doing an event with Kangana. So, will oh. you get Kangana? No, no, then you don't need any. any <laughs> I should do the podcast before we do the event. Publicity. Because then I may not be able to get her. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. Ah. So, but you have get to Kangana. work on your Hindi also. Ah, Hindi kya hai? Language is never a bar. No. <laughs> Please. Not commit to three names. No, I've already. Salman? Told. Salman? Salman apparently once he likes you, he'll do anything. He's that kind of guy. So, Salman will yeah, do Yeah, yeah, of course. Salman yeah, likes you? Yeah, 100%. Huh? Nee? Uh, I want Priyanka Chopra also. Yeah, Priyanka Chopra, even we want, huh. but... She, but she's not to yeah. sing on the show. I have just one request. Huh. Okay, okay, commit to two. Two? Yeah, two for sure. Who will you get big names? I will get, I will get. <laughs> Give us, okay, one. I have to be uh, honest, right? So, I can't just commit. But you just showed off about context. No, but I already said that, I already told... Uh, Mr. Amit that Mr. Amit I will definitely He's not Amitabh Bachchan He's just Amit <laughs> <laughs> Okay I can't take this Mr. Amit yeah. You're too sweet Coming from Bhuj I think you're just too nice To the rest of India You come to this hard city Like Mumbai Where everybody hates everybody Nobody has a kind <laughs> word uh, Anyway I hope it lasts uh, This being nice uh, qu- Quickly because we've had We're going to run out of time The sh- show that uh, About interviews that you do With uh, singers and all Like Shilpa Rao And uh, uh, Arman, Amal, Malik yes, and all yes, these people. Yes, yes, Just tell us quickly about that show. Yeah, so uh, as I said that, you know, I was always very much interested in uh, movies and music. So uh, the thing that I was thinking is that I didn't have at that point of time uh, somebody or a source uh, of, you know, information related to the industry at that point of time. When I started listening to podcasts almost a year ago, I realized that, you know, podcasts are an amazing way of, you know, listening to you know, some of the greats or if not the greats, but at least the experts of your, of any the, respective field. The not so greats. Not the so greats so be important uh, here. In abs- caste system, mein, sab log hai. Absolutely. Great, not so greats, less greats, no greats. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I think it were, podcasts were an important, uh, you know, source of information, uh, you know, along with entertainment. So then, uh, I thought that, you know, also because of my day-to-day 
day-to-day interaction with the music, the musicians being with 9XM. Uh, and because I had done a show uh, called Soundtrack uh, with 9XM also, wherein I interviewed uh, musicians. So when I was interacting with, with them, I realized that, you know, what if this very same information, if, uh, you know, many people are able to, you know, uh, get that, you know, uh, benefit from that. Because uh, usually nowadays, I think, you know, not much, uh, not many people watch television. You know, television is still, I mean, we don't have so much time. And especially in cities uh, like Mumbai and Delhi and all. So there is so much traffic. So podcasts are the easiest and the most convenient, best way to actually listen to some Plus they open up more, they get to talk more. On yeah, a podcast, your yes. heroes and your artists will actually talk. Absolutely. Because, unless I'm, of course, on doing the interview. Because then they've complained that sometimes <laughs> I don't let them talk. But frankly speaking, you do have a chance of yes. le- hearing your the person you admire. Absolutely. On TV, on those panel shows, for example, very often they're saying, let me talk. Let yeah. me talk. That's all they get to say. And as soon as the camera is on, they're some off. they become a little conscious, right? I mean, yeah. we all do. Yeah. So. I, I, yeah, I start wearing my clothes. Immediately, for example, I'm just oh, putting it out there. No, yeah. but again, so uh, you worked with a lot of different names. Who's your favorite? My favorite musician uh, yeah, right now currently is um, I've interviewed Amit Trivedi, but uh, he is going to come on the show very soon. Mm-hmm. So Amit Trivedi is one of my favorite. Neha Basin is one of my favorite. I think I've done an event with Neha Basin. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. She didn't acknowledge me also. <laughs> It's too pretty, I think. I, I'll get Neha Basin. I'll get Neha Basin. Hundred person. She's amazing. Yeah, she seemed amazing. The crowd yeah. really liked her. I then, think you don't need uh, Shah Rukh and Salman's on the show. No, but listen, let's sure. also have Shah Rukh and Salman. <laughs> let's not say no to them if they want to come. Let's keep them on as well. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's the that's the nine XM Soundcast T. Soundcast. Soundcast. We call it nine XM Soundcast. Don't we don't say no. You don't pronounce no, the E. No. Okay, now there's a little thing before we go into yeah. the MAs. I heard that you yourself are a very good singer, and this information yeah. we got from personal <laughs> sources also. Oh, you said yeah. That was easy. I did not even say anything. So, will you sing a little bit for us? Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, by the way, next week is my birthday, so you can also <laughs> sing happy birthday. <laughs> if nothing else. Oh. But what do I sing? I have to think Whatever of... Whatever you um, want to sing. Of a song in which, you know, copyrights are not involved. Permissions are not I involved. I always think of Baba Black Sheep then. Apparently, no. there's no copyright. <laughs> Shall we go for Baba Black Sheep? No, I'll sing something that I don't know whether you have... Heard it's never about me, so. it's about the people listening. Yeah, yeah. Our 49 listeners, please show some <laughs> respect. 48, I've just been informed, one passed away. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Akhiyan Nuran De Akhiyan De Kool Kool Nede Nede Vasda विखण दा चासनु मुख पर ताविना नेडे नेडे वस जीवे दूर दूर जाविना दूर दा खयाल छड वस अखियां दे कोल कोल चन पर देसिया बोल पावे ना बोल वाओ वो डिड दैट वॉइस कम फ्रॉम आई डोंट नो you have to interview yourself Do you realize you're going to have a big problem you have to just interview yourself now very, very good uh, like we'll play a clap track there nicely so have you ever sung in public also obviously you have like a no no just on stage but not really on public in public and all no you want to launch yourself <laughs> I don't know let me ask the room Abbas what do you feel good singer Fantastic singer. Fantastic oh wow, singer. thank you. Eva, listen, it's been wonderful having you here. And no, of no, but I, I, I want to want... talk a little bit more about the show. Oh. Okay, what the show is about, have... 9XM Soundcast <laughs> is the podcast that is a Ding. must for all the music lovers and people who want to make a career in music, oh. all budding artists, because this is the place where you have inspiring musicians who are not just talking about their music, but they are talking about their entire journey and how they, and how they, uh, they surfaced they will, with the struggles. And how and they will help you get a job. Yeah, no, no. Some Ooh, of yeah. them have actually given some practical tips as to how to, you know, begin uh, begin like you know your career in Mumbai. 
in the music industry specifically so i think that 9xm soundcast is the podcast where music so it's inspires it's a launching pad for youngsters it's it's we're going to be the next uh, big names it's uh, not the launching pad but what i'm saying that we bring uh, you interviews with all the biggest names why in the music we, industry why can't we make it into a podcast where they actually perform uh, while you talk to the famous star they actually can get a chance to perform it becomes like a reality show i mean the the other artists i mean the budding I mean, the artists normal, the normal artist wants to be wants to be a star so yeah. a bit like indian idol but we'll have the rights yeah yeah, yeah. what do you think <laughs> that's so fantastic man and you and i can be the judge <laughs> yeah. and i'll judge from home so all you have to do is tell me who's winning and i'll agree it's, i think this is fantastic done no no next time if i'm going to come with you anywhere i have to like really um I'm going to ask for monies from uh, Amit Doshi. I, I Again, want money Eva, because coming. This is not a fairy tale. No, no, <laughs> this no, no, is no, no. just a podcast. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> Now meeting Cyrus next time in my life is going to be like I'm going to charge people for you know. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've upset such a nice person. Okay, listen. Let's quickly say nine XM Soundcast. That's the podcast that you're hosting. It's Soundcast with an E. It's about singers, artists who inspire you, yes. and maybe you can become the next artist or uh, the next generation of singers if you listen to this podcast. Thank you so much. New episodes out every Tuesday on the IVM app, podcast website, or wherever you listen to. Yeah, on, yeah, you can listen to this podcast. Every fresh episode of Nine XM Soundcast is uh, out every Tuesday, so you can enjoy, you know, different kinds of artists uh, giving out some really inspiring stuff. So yeah. So what you're saying is, start the week on Tuesday. Just cancel Monday. Tuesday is more interesting. I think yeah. And move on from Tuesday. Do I have a show on Monday, Abbas? Yeah. Then Tuesday makes sense. Tuesday makes sense. <laughs> Avoid my show for sure. Mm. All right, but you can't go anywhere. We have the AMAs coming right now. Eva, you have to answer the AMAs for us. Oh It's about God. our show. So please, it's embarrassing the questions. I'm warning you right now. Hey everybody, welcome to another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. You know the greatest place on earth to work on. If you're interested in working with us, please do send us your resume. Careers at indusbox. dot com. We're looking for people in business roles. We're looking for people in creative roles. We're looking for audio engineers, graphic designers, all kinds of things. So please do apply. Also wanted to ask everybody, please tell a friend about your favorite podcast on the IVM network. We really do depend on your word of mouth. You are our biggest ambassadors, and we'd really, really appreciate all of your support. Also, if you are enjoying what you listen to, take a screenshot, tag us on social media, and we will repost that. On the scene and the unseen, Amit Verma is joined by journalist Namita Bhandare to talk about the job crisis for women in India. On the final episode of the Rani Screwwala podcast, we do a Q and A where Rani answers questions sent in from listeners as well as other podcast hosts from the IVM network. On Marvel's Lost and Found, Avanti and Zen talk to therapist Ishita Pateria about eating disorders and how to deal with them. On the Edges and Sledges Cricket podcast, Ashwin and DJ are discussing the women's and men's Ashes, the slate of cricketers retiring, India's performance versus the West Indies, Zoni's contribution to the Indian Army, and a lot more. Last week, we released the season finale of the first season of Equity Sahiya. Tune into the show to listen to fascinating and insightful conversations about equity and various sectors in India you could invest in. The last two episodes feature special guest Ramdev Agarwal, co-founder of the Motilal Aswal Group. Check those out to learn more about his inspirational journey. This show was brought to you by the Motilal Aswal Asset Management Company. On IVM Likes, IVM staffers Abbas Saishri and debutant Antarik sit down to discuss their go-to pop culture during the monsoon. On our Kannada podcast, Thale Harate, Professor Zabiulla and Shant Kumar Patil talk to Pawan and Surya about the Dakni language and its history. On Nine XM Soundcast, host Eva Bhatt is joined by an Indian Canadian singer, Jonita Gandhi. She started her music career by singing covers on YouTube, and they discuss her journey from Canada to Mumbai, people who supported her, and how one should deal with trolls and negative comments on social media. On Paperback, hosts Satyajit Roy and Racheta Sharma are joined by the writer and creative editor Himali Kothari. She discusses the process of meticulously writing and rewriting a story. And with that, let's get you on with your show. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. This is the AMAs, and Abbas is in charge. He's got all the emails, which I yes. call letters. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, first letter slash email comes from Vivek Priyadarshi. Uh, the question is, dear Cyrus, if the current state of confusion and drama in Karnataka politics was to be turned into a Bollywood thriller, what, according to you, should be the title of the movie? Hmm. I will go with Unnis Bees because hmm. the difference is very little in the numbers, and I've been talking about this in democracy from the beginning. When you have very little difference in numbers, that you can poach five MPs or MLAs and you know switch the the numbers in just half a dozen people, we should then call it a tie and replay the whole thing. In any case, 
until you get a proper mathematical equation where one side is stronger like how we have in the center with right. 350 odd mm. versus the rest so we you need that kind of equation because wherever it there are three or four states that have this situation and it's just going to it's just ridiculous about five times they've called for a uh, the house has been called in the middle yeah. these guys have run away to eagleton resorts resorts are making money and now they have to outsource resorts <laughs> because karnataka ran out of resorts they send them to mumbai to pawai yeah. i mean come on yeah, it's just ridiculous so i think we have to play the game again when it's close it's like uh-huh. a world cup final hmm. think of the bjp and congress like New Zealand, England in the World Cup final. Okay, that will explain the Eva. Please contribute to these questions. God, I cannot. I mean, with you, <laughs> no. Sorry, there is no Bollywood happening in my life. I <laughs> whatever my knowledge biggest problem that I had being Parsi from South Bombay is every time Karnataka politics plunges into the depth, I have to say the name Kumar Swami and Guru <laughs> Irappa without making a mistake many times in the course of whatever we are doing. Yeah. And I'm just like every day, it's a it's a real tongue twister. Yes, sir. All right. The next one is from Anand Hegde. Anand says, "Hey, Cyrus, hypothetical scenario, which is a Karnataka, well, Canada name, Hegde, yes, on the border, but yeah. <laughs> If you could alter three events in the past, which ones would you choose and why? These can be events in your personal life or just any event in well, history. Well, one event in history I want to overturn is the wheel. It's a real pain because the wheel is the motorbike today and the rickshaw." and these idiots who you know double park everywhere so the wheel has caused me too much pain and i would like that wheel to go back i prefer the old days you know when a man would jump on his wife's shoulders and you know they would walk across the plains those were beautiful days this was when we were homo erectus which by the way is a real name yeah 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 many many years ago our ancestors are huh, eva yeah. we are all related by the way you and me have the same ancestors so no matter how you want to get rid of me we are close oh my god uh, let us let, let us also contribute so what things would you like to change in the world or in your personal life i suppose is a little difficult in the world mm. i would remove wealth i'd be like a communist I say everybody should get exactly the same amount of everything. Like one T-shirt. I think we have too many clothes. But if you if you remove wealth, then uh, exchange also goes out. Of no, the, no, wealth is a concept window, where people right? where there's disparity, mm. wild disparity. Not because sure. of, not because of That's charity. That's not one event, though, right? No, but I have to understand my point. I yeah. want to remove clothes. I think clothes have cost a lot of. We spend too much money and time on clothes, and they it ridiculous. Agree. Why do we need clothes? So the uh, the the. By uh, the way, I'm I don't wear clothes in my room. I've told my daughter you have to knock now. <laughs> Well, I'm not wearing clothes anymore. I just can't take it anymore. It's just because my wife won't let me put the AC on because mm. of the monsoon, right. and we have a short circuit issue. Uh. So I said, "Fine, then I'm naked." That's my rule. So now, uh, actually, she knocks and says, "Dad, I put your pants on. I want to come in." It's like that. I'm and very... my son won't come in. He's saying, "I don't ever see you naked, <laughs> so I won't recover." Oh. I'm very surprised you didn't say, "I want to overturn my marriage." No, I can't say that. Really? Well, who's going to marry me now? If I want That's to get married true. again, let me just stick with this. <laughs> Abbas, you also think properly, no? no I, bachelors, <laughs> you is, don't leave any opportunity to take a dig at your. What are you uh, keeping score? Yeah, what of course. person are you? How petty are you? <laughs> yeah. My wife doesn't know. Why do you think I do the podcast? She thinks I'm a conductor. <laughs> so then, what's the third thing you don't know? What? Abbas, say something. Mm. Okay, safe personal. From your career, whatever, what would you like to change? You could go back in the, in your life. Mm. And would you like to have waited less time for Shahrukh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, But if you overturn that, then Amani's daughter doesn't get married. So oh. that, that just gives a whole chain of oh events. Oh God! Oh God. <laughs> no, I think I'm pretty happy with how things have. Okay, you know, then generally in, in the world, life. what would you change from the past? Mm, from no, no, Donald from Trump's the, election. No, no, from the world only. I feel that uh, too much of this. the social media like ah. i just told you that you know you should do a lot of stuff on instagram but, but personally i feel that it's too much and yeah. uh, there is this pressure too that many opinions yeah too many too many opinions also ah. and this pressure of you know looking good and i must have 10 million followers i must be seen yeah, yeah 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 no i think it's rubbish um, see you're an intelligent yeah. person you came up with such an intelligent answer which makes a lot of sense and i came up with what yeah. clothes <laughs> <laughs> Remove clones. So together we have contributed to society. That, that's important. Abbas, right. would you like to quickly uh, throw something in? What would you change? Fast. From my personal life, uh, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> let it be. <laughs> uh, next one comes What? from uh, no, no, from the past, the world. <laughs> my whole dentistry phase, I would, uh, I would eliminate. Eliminate. Yeah. How many years you wasted? Four. You think you wasted? You're a struggling mm-hmm. comedian. Four years would have been a dentist earning millions right now. Yeah. No, four years. Means, I so are you a meet, doctor? Because four no, years. No, no, I dropped out. I, I studied. But four for, years means what? What is I your degree? Took four, three years to four years to complete three years. Na, no? I failed in between. <laughs> wow. Hey, as a doctor, you won't even be a nurse, yar. <laughs> what the hell is this? No, this is common in chartered accountancy, MBBS. That's MBBA. different. CA is different. 
But no, dentist should pass the exam because when you, your mouth is in his hands, <laughs> you, suddenly you find out. So that's what. Five years lia, two years ki cost. I mean, you suddenly. Thank God. Ah, that's what. No, you. Jab tak achhe se you don't get, you don't pass. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. The passion, the Josh Junoon wasn't there for you. Yeah, yeah. it's still not there. But uh, now what do you mean still not there? <laughs> you can't go back. You look like an old uncle. You can't just join a gen- dentist's college. Uh, uh, yeah, so I will eliminate that. Uh, anyway, uh, next question. Right. Okay. <laughs> this one comes from Amresh Sathe. Hmm. Uh, Cyrus, you won't believe this, but you have a big fan base in Midwest, Columbus, Ohio, USA. Huge. You won't believe. <laughs> He the question, I can stand for elections. <laughs> Amrish's question is: Every time I refer your podcast to someone, they are reluctant to listen initially. Those who are more reluctant actually end up becoming bigger fans of you. Why do you think the U-turn happens? It's like Rajneesh. Osho, Osho Rajneesh. Ah, Osho. Osho. Ah. I also used to say, "What nonsense! What nonsense! Sex, ah. sex, sex! It makes sense." Then I started listening to his philosophy, and it's damn tough to disagree. Yeah, it's damn tough. Have you ever heard? Yeah, I have. Please hear before you I say have. anything. I, have. I saw his documentary. He wins you over. He, he, he directly <laughs> saw the documentary. So <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. That is Netflix, <laughs> the father of the everything, telling you what is so, right and wrong. Wild, yeah. wild country. So yeah. well, ah, totally. Ah, <laughs> you people watch too much. Huh? Uh, have you heard his lecture on Zaz music? Zaz. <laughs> South Bombay boy. All he gets All out right. of this is the mispronunciation. <laughs> Philosophy. I mean, Socrates speaks with a Greek accent, for example, if he was to speak. You can't yeah. say it like a. <laughs> say but it he says jazz, jazz. He said jazz. Jazz music is just people going on stage and randomly playing whatever they but want. Technically, that's what it is. You just scat. You just make up the music. <laughs> no, so he's not endorsing anyone. But what you were saying something it's about philosophy. It. Yeah, yeah. Diff- uh, just you the use of the word, the F word, mm-hmm. and how he explains it. Yeah. It's brilliantly explained. Yeah, I loved yeah, it. Yeah, I fell yeah, in love yeah. with him. Yeah, I he tried is. everything. I can't grow a beard. I would have definitely tried to look like Osho. But what, 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 at what point did you did that change start happening? I like chicks. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I like the ladies. Osho, okay. Osho. At what point did you no, no, go so, from so we Okay, were, that's we were not drinking When I was in my drinking days uh-huh. We were drinking and all that And somebody played this tape And I, I was uh-huh. rubbishing them And they played yeah, Bankaro, yeah, Bankaro yeah, yeah. Let's some music And next thing you start listening And listening And then it's, it's Because you mentioned this whole uh, They listen to the podcast And then get right. slightly converted yeah, and all. Yeah. Sometimes you know You think you, do, you don't understand The karmic connection You have with certain things yeah. Suddenly you are drawn to yeah. it And then you know One minute, one minute This makes sense mm. And so I, I like this philosophy I don't judge books by the cover I think that's a bad idea Because this whole sex yeah. thing And his funny looks And you know yeah. His yeah. Bad accent or whatever These are small things yeah so the pe- people at Ohio I just want to say that you know we have Cyrus the next <laughs> Dinda, orator right? and he's the Rajneesh next Rajneesh and something to do with jazz yeah, yeah. Dinda, Osho's uh, ashram was also in Ohio of course wow this is yeah yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> hey, ah, hey, oh my god true. this is uh, wow. creepy this is creepy ah, and ah. If, <laughs> now let me tell you about jazz <laughs> um, uh, Anand yeah. Sheila Oh, you know, you guys really know your the documentary. Is really it's good. really interesting. But you watch it from sure. a gossip point of view. I, I know his way of thinking. Actually, I mean, it was quite. Took, yeah, I took a yeah, lot yeah. away from it. Yeah, but well, it's not him really. It was all, all her. Oh uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, mix. You can't really say. And uh, but she took it to other levels. Now this water yeah, poisoning yeah, and all this. That's right. Yeah, everybody yeah. manipulates. Yeah. Even that he talks about. Yeah. If you aim low, like mm-hmm. in the male urinal, everything mm-hmm. is fine. <laughs> Aim low in life. This is the problem. Is we aim too high. Uh, Eva, thank you so much for being on the show. Your conveyance is in the mail, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> thank you so much, Cyrus. Mm-hmm. Okay, folks. Great news for me. Not so much for you. We're going thrice a week. We're not repeating shows. We're going on thrice a week. Two regular shows and a new one. The birth of a new one called Lanso. Left arm not so orthodox. It's talking cricket. Two great minds talking cricket. One who has never played the game, and the other well. Relatively less inexperienced. The one and only, what's my name? Cyrus Brocha. Lanso. New episodes every Wednesday. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter on Cyrus Says In. Or you can email us, even if you're not female, on whatcyrussays at gmail.com. And that's what Cyrus says. माणसानं गोलगप्प्यासारखी असतात हाय हॅलो करताना वेगळी आणि बोलताना वेगळी आणि गप्पा मारताना वेगळी मित्र झाली की वेगळी आणि शत्रू म्हणून वेगळी थोडक्यात दिसणारी वेगळी आणि असणारी वेगळी कधी आंबट कधी गोड कधी तिखट तर कधी चमचमीत आणि कधी कधी हॉट अँड स्पायसी सुद्धा आणि म्हणूनच गप्पा 
सॉरी सॉरी गोल गप्पा विथ तृप्ती खामकर फक्त तुमच्यासाठी दर बुधवारी आय व्ही एम पॉडकास्ट च्या ऍप वर वेबसाईट वर किंवा युट्यूब चॅनल वर सुद्धा ऐकू शकता तुम्ही आमचा पॉडकास्ट वेगवेगळ्या पॉडकास्ट प्लॅटफॉर्म वरती ऐकू शकता फक्त सर्च करा गोल गप्पा विथ तृप्ती खामकर आणि आमचा पॉडकास्ट ऐकत राहा Advertising is dead. Yep, you heard me right. Advertising is dead. We're all in the content business now. Let's not call it news, TV, radio, etc., etc. It's all content and we're in the middle of this weirdly exciting phase where all the borders and lines that have been drawn over decades has been swept away by this lovely thing called the internet. We're a show where we don't dwell on just the stuff that is now, but rather the wider stuff about advertising, media, content and the whole goddamn circus surrounding it. Tune in every Tuesday for our weekly unboxing of the mystery box we used to call advertising. I'm Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch, and this is my new podcast, Advertising is Dead. Advertising is Dead.